If you can do this trick right yeah, here, yeah. finger flip, you can keep the board, right? <laughs> Damn. You're bright, but what if, what if? What? Check this out. What if what? I could do. Oh, what? Keep the board! Keep the board! Hey, what's up, I'm Doughboy. I'm a producer and a rapper from Hong Kong, and I've traveled all over the world. But there's one thing that I've noticed about big cities is that they're all starting to look the same. But here in Hong Kong, if you know where to look, you'll find the most unique gems carefully curated by Hong Kong's most colorful and passionate personalities. Today, I'm here to give you the inside map to some of these treasure troves. Let's go. So starting off, we got one for the music lovers. If you know anything about music, you know that nothing sounds better than the vinyl. There are some spots with vinyl in Hong Kong, but there's nothing like Paul's Vinyl Hero. Paul, oh, hello, hello, hello. If you're looking to build up your vinyl collection, Paul is your guy. He's got one of the biggest vinyl collections in all of Hong Kong. The man lives and breathes his stuff, which is why he runs his shop out of his own apartment. He sometimes even sleeps next to his vinyl. If that ain't love, I don't know what is. So I'm always looking for new sounds and I reckon that he can help me with that. <笑>這裏大約有三萬隻到啦但其實我有三十萬隻的我有十倍在很大的火倉裏面這裏大概有三十萬隻的我有十倍在很大的火倉裡面這裏大概有三十萬隻的我有三十萬隻的我有三十
。哇，呢、這個真係好正啊！喂，多謝你先。其實每一樣舊物係講緊係一個情懷咯。嗯即係嗰樣嘢究竟係令到你咁呢個係好特別嘅，係你自己噶嘛、嗯。所以每一樣舊嘢係講緊，可能對於我係冇乜咁嘅感覺，但係對於你係有感覺噶嘛。嗯、其實咧本身、呃、我諗咁啦，嗯、即係有啲係、呃、可能喺香港揾翻嚟，即係可能有時有啲舊屋，咁可能佢搬，咁可能我哋亦都覺得有啲有、呃、即係我覺得有價值或者好。歷史價值嘅嘢，嗱、嗯、咁其實咧呢、這個玩具咧就係、是、一個誒、呃、我個客啦，咁佢有一次咧咁就上嚟，咁就佢就話喺香港咧揾咗好耐都揾唔到，咁就佢想我話幫佢揾啦，誒、呃、外國啦，咁啊幫佢揾到誒、呃、類似嘅玩具，咁所以嗰次佢嚟到咧，其實佢都攞翻嗰件玩具，佢都好開心，因為佢覺得呢個係佢嘅童年回憶咯，因為佢亦都係講緊真係佢細個佢去玩過。咁其實一個好簡單，可能復刻嘅玩具。咁但係呢個玩具點解咁特別？我會講出嚟就係因為呢個係我爸爸，因為我爸爸佢唔係實可講嘅。咁、嗯、到到佢最近近即係幾年前佢走咗。咁呢樣嘢我會覺得，我突然間揾翻啦，喺啲箱仔嗰度揾翻，因為佢收埋咗。咁、嗯、我揾翻，跟住我會覺得呢樣嘢對我有價值咯。Okay. 因為我會諗起係無價咯，因為我諗起佢咯。OK， 咁嗱，有冇啲咩係最奇怪嘅一個物件啊？呢度？最奇怪啊！咩嚟噶？我唔嗱呢个公仔嚟嘅，系，但系都好似我，我谂起一个人喎、啊，谂、okay. 起一个好心爱嘅人、啊，我睇得咁得意啦，跟住、okay. 其实呢个就好似我太太 ，O K O K O K， 阿太太你出嚟啊唔该，跟住、okay. <笑>我谂啊，依家咁似太太呢、這个，跟、嗯、住我就真系买翻嚟试下，跟、okay. 住我就有一次俾个 surprise 你，诶、okay. <笑>欸、我搵到公仔啦，几、okay. 似你，佢觉得似唔似啊？即系佢玩就要摆个波，其实系啊，但系你永远都摆唔到噶。<笑>喂喂，嗱，喂，得喎。So you know what love with toys? Let's have a little switch up. People were telling me back then in Hong Kong, skateboarding wasn't really popular. But nowadays, you see hella kids with skateboards in town. And this next place we're about to go to, they say is one of the reasons why this is happening. Let's go find out. Anyone in the Hong Kong skate scene would tell you the 852 shop is a mecca for Hong Kong skaters. Opening its doors in '99, it was one of the first streetwear and skateboard shops that brought in underground labels that were unknown to Hong Kong at the time. And the man behind it all is Brian, the street legend of Hong Kong and a really good friend of mine. Let's go talk to him today. Now let me show you around. If I took Marco right here, this is the the deck wall. Wow. Check it out. These are own A52 collections. Okay. This is the most perfect one. How do you pronounce this word? It's called D. So yeah, check that out. That one's pretty sick. And right here, it's all the uh, apparel. We got hats, tons of hats. Doughboy, you, you know, you always rock hats. We got hats. We got beanies for days. So it's, so it's free for me, right? Oh yeah, whatever you want, man. I mean, Vice can pay. So yeah, so uh, basically, all all you need for skateboarding or uh, all you need for you to look good, we have it out here in A52. Okay, so I've been shooting uh, mini mini Insta Polaroid since we started in 1999, right? So whoever came to Hong Kong, I just you know Polaroid, I, I collect. So if you're skaters, if you see this wall, you'll flip out because there's just Lincoln Park. Yeah, Futura, Lincoln Park came, and then Futura, Futura Hayes, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Wow. So why do you think the popularity of skateboarding has grown like over the past few years in Hong Kong? Us growing up skating, they were like, "Yo, that's that's for street kids, yeah. you know, like bad kids skate." Yeah. But now it's in the Olympic yeah. and it's official. Yeah. Now the parents are like, oh, my my son or my daughter have the chance yeah. to to maybe one day compete. Yeah. That's why for the last few years skateboarding grew so big here in Hong Kong. So with that being said about skateboarding in Hong Kong, where do you think A52 Shop fits into this whole picture of oh, skateboarding man. in Hong Kong? The reason the reason for me to have A52 Shop is for for us to also give it back to the community. Right. right, promote right. and help potential right. skaters right. with great attitude, right? Right, right. So we're here as a platform, right. you know. If you're really sick, we slowly sponsor you by like giving you whatever you want from from our shop. Okay. So we work closely with with the local community, 100%. Yo, let's go to Skate Five to Escape, man. For sure, man. You know what? I want to bring this one. Let's go. That's let's go. that's real nice, right? Yeah, man. No, 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 no. I got I got better for you. Screw this. Screw this. Let's, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got you, dog. I got you. So with opening the dopest skate shops in Hong Kong wasn't enough, Brian went ahead and opened one of the dopest skate parks, Skate 5-2. And that's how much the man does for the culture. So yo, Doughboy, welcome to Skate 5-2. Wow. It's pretty sick, this right? This is amazing, man. Dope, right? Yeah. But anyways, you were talking about my own skateboard, right? Where is it? Oh, that, yeah. yeah. 
Oh. Yo, right here. Perfect. Right? Hey, isn't this like a little old? Makes you look like a real skater, dude. Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah, I, I am a real skater. Right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sure. go skate. Let's sure. go. Okay. Oh, well. So, we're here at Skate 5 2, the most popular indoor skate park in Hong Kong. Rain or shine, this is where the young skaters tear it up. But it's been a little minute since I've skated, so it might take me a while to warm up. I hope I could do okay. Man, it's been way too long. If you can do this trick right yeah, here, yeah. finger flip, you can keep the board, right? <laughs> Damn. Yo, Brian, but what if, what if? What? Check this out. What if what? I could do. Oh, what? Keep the board! Keep the board! Yo, Doughboy, I see you around, all right? All right take care, man. Peace. Yo, I could have dropped a lot more cash today, but honestly, in this world, there's some things that are worth a lot more than money. You can shop anywhere you want in Hong Kong, but there's nothing like meeting people who are not just trying to sell you stuff, but sharing with you their love and their passion. Can you really put a price on that? But if you come to Hong Kong, you really gotta check out these treasure troves. Honestly, you're not gonna regret it. All right, take care.